for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of circular building by using etap software so i was already done my modeling process and i was applied the load cases which are comes under the gravity loading condition system and lateral loading condition system by using etap software so initially i will open the model in etap software then after that uh, we will do the designing process in csi detailing version so this is a circular building model i was already done the modeling process for the respective structure by using uh, etap software okay so but in circular shape it is not possible to do the modeling process in uh, etap software directly okay so for doing the circular shape condition system i was taken the statpro software reference okay initially i was done the modeling process in uh, statpro software then after that i was ex imported the model from statpro software to uh, etap software so i was already done how to import the model from statpro software and etap software in my previous video so you can watch that video for importing process okay so after uh, modeling process completed after applying the load cases initially we need to do the analysis process okay so further go to analyze option here so click on the uh, set load cases to run option here click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process for the respective structure under considerations of the load cases related to the gravity loading condition system and lateral loading condition system so now we can see this is the deflection diagram under considerations of the uh, dead loading condition system in order to display the shear force diagram click on the forces pandilla forces select the shear to two option click on apply option so that it will apply the shear force diagram for the building structure again click on the moment 3 3 option click on apply so that it will display the bending moment diagram under consideration okay so now we have to design the structure after analysis process so for that initially we need to unlock the model so click on unlock option so now we have to add the grid condition system for the different floors okay so for that go to edit option here select the add edit grid strips option select the add strips option so initially i am selecting the story number 6 which is in x direction with strip layer is a click on apply option so that it will apply the uh, strip condition system for the x direction condition in the same process i am applying the strip for the y direction condition with the strip layer is b click on apply option so that it will apply the strip condition system for the y direction condition in the same process we can apply the strip condition system for the remaining five slabs so now i was applied the strip condition system for the respected different types of the floors so after applying the strip condition system we need to analyze the structure for that again go to analyze option set load cases to run option click on run now option again it will do the analysis process for the respected building structure with the considerations of the strip so after applying this uh, after analysis process completed with the help of the strip condition system we have to uh, do the designing process for the frame sections as well as the cell sections okay now you can see this is a deflection diagram under considerations of the strip conditions go to design option concrete frame design select to view revised preferences so we have to select the design code is as per is456 so again click on ok option go to design option concrete frame design so click on start design check for the respected section so that it will start designing check for the beam sections as well as the column section for the building structure then after that we will design the slab section as per is 456 2000 codal provision so now it was done with uh, all the process for the respected uh, beam sections now we have to design a slab go to click on the slab design view revised preferences select is 456 2000 code click on ok again we have to click on the uh, select number of the stories option just i'm selecting the stories from one number to six number click on ok option select this respected option again again click on the start design check okay it will start designing check for the respected slab section under considerations of the load cases now you can see this is the pressure diagram for the respected structure under considerations of the loads now we have to save this option by control s option so now we have to close this etap software now we have to open the csi detailing 18 version software so here i am selecting csi 18 version detailing software so initially we need to import the model from etap software to csi detailing for that go to click on the file option new modeling option select the model just i was selecting the model is c click on open so initially the model which is related to the circular building was open in etap's 18 version software then after that it will be directly imported to csi detailing now it was importing the uh, grid section story section joint sections and frame section then after that it will import the uh, shell sections 
now it was imported with all the models click on ok option so now we have to select some uh, basic parameters which are related to the units and uh, minimum values so select the uh, detailing units option initially just i am selecting as per the metric si system so select the length units will be in meter and uh, section thickness will be millimeter and force units will be in kilonewton and select the rebar weight will be in ton okay so select the slab area will be square meter cubic meter concrete again click on ok option so now we have to select the uh, preferences option so here i am selecting the preferences as per is 456 2000 code click on ok so select the concrete uh, detailing preferences select the beam option just rename that to b again select the column option renaming that to w uh, sorry c w click on ok again i am selecting uh, rebar rules option so here we have to enter the minimum values and maximum values just i am selecting the minimum value is uh, 50 value and maximum value is 450 for the slab again i am selecting the uh, beam section which is related to the uh, 50 value here again this is also 50 value here this is also 50 so here i am entering the value which is related to the 450 450 450 so again i am selecting the column section which is related to the 50 value here and this is the value which is comes under the 450 value here click on ok option again we have to select the ok option so that it will start designing check for the respective slab section and frame sections and column section under considerations of the various specifications so now we can see this is the uh, top view for the respective slab section of sixth one so click on the rebar plan option so that it will load the rebar plan for the uh, elevation of 21 section so this is the rebar plan for the 21 section elevation in the same process you can select the rebar plan for the uh, 21 meter section for the top rebar plan so that it will load the top rebar plan so click on the all rebar plan option so that it will load the all rebars which is uh, in horizontal direction and vertical direction for the section okay so again in the same process we have to select the section a which is of six okay so which is consisting of the uh, rebar values for the respected section again i am selecting the bill of material this is the bill of material directly i am selecting rebar kgv option okay so it will load the rebar kgv for the respective structure under the design considerations so now we can see this is the uh, rebar view for the respected section under consideration so here it is showing for the complete circular shape but in the center of this respective slab section we are taking the open space okay so basically that open space was not assigned for the slab section due to the considerations of the only four number of the grids in uh, vertical and horizontal direction okay so again i am selecting beam detailing option concrete beams option just i am selecting framing plan this is the framing plan for the respective beam schedules and drawing this is the schedules and drawing for the beam next i am selecting directly elevation sixth section next i am selecting 7b1 so click on uh, elevation section this is the elevation section for the beam section which is comes under the reinforcement values here like this select section a this is the section a for the respected beam section under consideration again i am selecting reinforcement profile this is the below material just i am directly selecting rebar cage view this is the rebar cage view for the beam section okay again in the same process you can select any one of the floor just i am selecting 3b c3 so click on the option here like this reinforcement profile here and directly select the rebar cage view this is the rebar cage view for the beam section okay so now in the same process i will show you the column detailing select the column detailing so click on the framing plan option so this is the framing plan for the respected section again schedules and drawing so this is the schedules and drawing for the column again i am selecting elevation section just i am selecting simply uh, c1 so click on a this is the column detailing for the respected section directly i am selecting the bill of material this is the bill of material rebar cage view option so that it will load the rebar cage view for the column section under consideration so this is the final view of the column under consideration okay so this is the complete process of analysis and designing of uh, circular shape uh, structure by using etap software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you